Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's March 22nd, 2021. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A priest connected to Joe Biden is under investigation. Santa Clara University published a message last week announcing Father Kevin O'Brien's removal as president pending an investigation. According to the Jesuits USA West Province, O'Brien exhibited behaviors in adult settings consisting primarily of conversations, which may be inconsistent with established Jesuit protocols and boundaries. O'Brien is close to the Biden family and offered prayers at a mass before Biden's inauguration. A pro-Trump teacher has been vindicated in court. On Thursday, a New Jersey court ordered Wall Township School Board to pay $325,000 to former teacher Susan Parsons. The board had forced her to alter a pro-Trump t-shirt photo in the school yearbook. Parsons objected, was made the scapegoat, received death threats, and was suspended. The school eventually republished the yearbook with the unaltered photo. A German bishop has offered to step down after being accused of covering up sex abuse. In a video statement Thursday, Hamburg Archbishop Stefan Hesse apologized to victims and announced he's offering his resignation to Pope Francis. This comes after an investigation deemed Hesse complicit in cover-up years prior, when he was vicar general in Cologne. Auxiliary Bishop Dominic Schwaderlop, also in Cologne, is likewise offering his resignation. A Florida man is being charged with a hate crime for his attack on a Catholic church. On Wednesday, a federal grand jury returned an indictment against Stephen Shields, who plowed his car into a parish in Ocala last July and set the building on fire with people still inside. Shields told detectives his stunt was awesome, saying he was on a mission. He faces up to 30 years in prison. A new survey reveals just how devastating lockdowns are for school children and teachers. The Reuters poll found more than half of school districts are reporting higher levels of students being absent, as well as an uptick in staff seeking mental health counseling. This lends further credence to claims that lockdowns hurt mental health by making adults and children feel isolated. In related news, a Michigan restaurant owner was recently hauled into jail for defying the lockdown. Marlena Pavlos Hockney was arrested early Friday morning for ignoring court orders against her restaurant after keeping it, keeping it open in defiance of state restrictions. Appearing in court Friday, she appeared to agree to close her business and pay more than $7,000 in fines. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about Catholic truth uncompromised. God bless you.